sponsored by Bangta Sustainable Business Development in Harmony with the Environment and Society. Thailand has suffered a decline in academic performance locally and internationally for many years because of uneven science and mathematic education provided to students over the decades. It is time to start an overhaul to lift the quality of Thai science and maths education. In 2011, Thailand ranked 51st out of 57 countries worldwide in a competitive education proficiency assessment by the International Institute for Management Development compared to 46th place in the 2007 rating. So we'll be taking a closer look to the current situation of the Thai education system as well as recommendations by education experts from agencies in the U.S. and South Korea. The Program for International Student Assessment has pointed out that the deficiency in analysis and learning development of Thailand, where the average grade in 2009 stood at 49th among 65 countries. As a result, a education specialist from OBEC, the Kinon Institute, MSD INSTEP, or Inquiry-Based Science and Technology Education Program, the Science Institute and representatives from teacher uh, groups nationwide attended a two-day symposium in Bangkok to exchange views on the Thailand's education reforms. This is just in a nutshell, what is the current issue of Thai um, education system right now? In a, in a broader sense you know <laughs> well, you know science is mm -hmm. uh, a challenging subject area mm -hmm. but it should be for everybody and in order to be able to uh, help students learn the best you, your country needs a good set of of learning goals that can guide the children and what I know the Thai um, previous standards and what I've heard at the meeting is that you have a lot of lot of ideas that you want kids to learn because science there's a lot of stuff in science but you can't learn everything and so often what happens you get an overcrowded curriculum and because there's too much stuff children can't learn don't, don't learn anything and so the one of the recommendations that came out of this particular conference was that the Thai, the Thai, Thai educational system should come up with a reduced set of s standards that focus really on what's important that all children need to know and know how to use to live in this technological and scientific society we have. Because if they can come up with a really nice set of learning goals that really focus on the important ideas of science, then you can design curriculum to really uh, support kids in learning that, and you can provide the appropriate professional development. Uh, but then what's needed is actually assessments to sort of see are they really meeting those goals. So for my um, from the two for the from my experiences in Thailand, is uh, including these couple of days, uh, one way one place in which the Thai. Uh, educational system could be improved is by focusing on uh, figuring out what is it they really want children to learn and then designing curriculum accordingly. Speaking about um, what do you think is the root cause of how um, our education system is the way it is? For example, I went to school here and we always taught to, um, to memorize everything, you know you know, we don't even know what we're memorizing, but we have to memorize in order for us to pass the, the exam. I mean, what do you think is the root cause of it? Is that because of culture, maybe, that we're taught not to um, uh, share uh, opinions or use our voice in terms of learning with the teachers at all? Um, one of the things we know from studying student learning in general is that if you don't show why ideas are important, then they do, then students do exactly what you said they do. You memorize ideas. And if you just memorize ideas, what they are is they become little disconnected fragments of knowledge. And you might be able to answer test questions, but basically like what you said, they're meaningless to you. And you don't know how to apply them to solve problems. You don't know why they're important. And many of the recommendations that 
that were, came out of this conference was to go away from that approach, mm -hmm. was to say, look, at, let's figure out what's really important for all learners to need to, to know, and let's create instructional materials that really can engage the kids, the students, in learning science. Mm -hmm. So that it was, uh, the Thai government is trying to move away from that approach. Now, I don't know enough about um, the Thai historical culture the Thai culture to really say what's the root cause of that. I do know that historically, many societies, including the U.S., want kids to think it's important that you have to learn a body of knowledge. And, um, but in fact, that's detriment. Unless you show kids why things are important and really engage them, then actually having them learn pieces of information is not valuable. The first thing you need is the complex learning goals like Joe's just mentioned. But the other thing is if you have that, you're still not going to succeed. If your tests insist on you just knowing facts and regurgitating them in the test itself. So the tests have to change too. First of all, they have to relate to the complex learning goals, including not just knowledge, but practices of science. And then they have to insist when students are answering questions in the test, that they also, they not only ask them about the knowledge, they ask them about the practices. So kids have to do things like actually show that they can investigate a scientific issue and they can gather data about it and they can make conclusions. That sort of stuff has to be in the tests. And so there's an important need for reform of the tests to be very consistent with the reform of the standards that Joe's just been talking about. Right. What have you found from speaking, Mr. Wilson, about the assessment test in Thailand? What, what have you found or learned from our system here as far as testing students? Well, I think the tests here are very traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, they're mainly multiple choice and they focus on knowledge of facts, just as Joe was talking about. And I think they need to expand from that. Knowledge of facts is important, but they also need to test the students' abilities to carry out scientific practices and to be like real scientists themselves. That will also help with motivation because you know, memorising facts is pretty boring. But doing scientific investigations can be really quite exciting and interesting. Um, so from here on out, what do you suggest that the whole testing assessment system of Thailand to change a shift towards, you know, a, a more engaging with the students and all? Well, first of all, uh, putting together uh, the new set of standards, mm -hmm. and I know that Joe's already been involved in that, as, as has Tom. Um, but secondly, to make that work, the tests have to now come into line with that. They have to be based on the same learning goals, and they have to be different sorts of tests from the ones we've got at the moment. That's what's needed. How do you suggest that, you know, by switching or moving from a traditional Thai um, education system to a better, you know, more uh, advanced or, or up to date? I mean, does it need to happen gradually? Or, I mean, you know, we, we want to be the leader as far as, you know, come to scientific technology study and all. I feel like we're still so far away from it. Like, most changes in teacher and teaching take time. Mm -hmm. Teachers have to learn new routines. They have to have confidence that these will work with their students. It does not. It's not going to happen overnight. So it's going to take time to get the standards right. Then it's going to take time, some additional time, to write new curriculum materials and, and prepare teachers to use them. Right? So there, there are things that can be done in the short run, but. There also need you need to have a longer term perspective. You're not going to change the system overnight. In fact, I, I think I actually think that's the wrong language. I think we're talking about trying to improve teaching, and when you talk about changing the whole system, it seems it seems too much for people, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, it, and in fact, it's a series of steps, as Joe and, and Mark have described, and they you know they they're going to occur over time. And because they accrue over time, people can be, accept them easier. Once teachers get familiar with the new standards, they're going to be more comfortable then with a, a change in the assessment because they'll understand how the two things go together. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it will take some time. I mean, Thailand needs to have a, a five-year or a ten-year plan for improving science, not a one-year plan. <laughs>